guys, it's Veritas Studios, and welcome back. Today we are going to be playing some more Prison Architect. Um, so this episode I'd actually like to get the high security area set up. Although we only have 38,000. And we have about three more days on our long-term investment until we get our money back from that one. So I don't know if I'll be able to set up an adequate enough high security area but I would like to get one open because you get a shit ton more money for having high security prisoners than you do for having low risk and medium rate what the fuck uh, <laughs> um okay <laughs> I don't know what happened there um <laughs> anyways yeah so I would like to get to work on that even if it is uh, an only, you know, a very small, high security area, I would still like to get it up. So, first of all, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to extend this fence down here. And we'll have it come down again. And I think I'm going to make a yard over here. So I think I'll make this a yard. So we'll do a room and do, 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 do yard, wherever the yard is. I don't know where it is. Yard, 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 yard. Where are you at? The yard, right here. Okay. So hopefully I got it somewhat right. Oh, yes, actually very, very close. We only got to shave one off of that, which is... Pretty easy. All right, so there we go. There, There's our yard. That'll be connected to the power generator up here, the power rum. And did I have power lines? Okay, so I can just hook up a large pipe down here, have it running down here and over. So now our high security area will get water. And in our yard, we need to put a large jail door right here. And, okay, we already have one right there, so that's fine. Um, I don't think prisoners can use staff doors, even if they are assigned to um, certain jobs, so to speak. Um, I want to assign one guard to the laundry room. Actually, does that, does that, no, wait, I don't want to do that. Because that doesn't output any contraband. One guy in the cleaning cupboard, though. Because prisoners can just walk in there and take bleach or, you know, whatever they want to out of there. Because there's not really any security. So we'll have a guard in there. Um, and I'll also hire another guard just to replace that guy. And we have enough space for four more prisoners, which I will also take in. Oh, we are already doing that. Okie dokie. So, there's our yard. I would like to place down a few weight benches, and we'll just go ahead and do that now. Just a few of them. And we'll spread them out a little bit. Just like so. That should be enough for now. We're not really going to have a lot of high security prisoners, at least this early on in our prison. Eventually we may. So there, there's that. That's our yard. And I'm thinking of making the... Um, cell block right over here. So I'll go ahead and extend the stone road out from here. Bring that all the way down. And we'll start to make the foundation for our cell block. I'm not going to make this bad boy too, too big. Um, something like this should be fine. Like, it doesn't have to be too big because once again, like I said... I'm not going to be having a lot of high security prisoners, at least in the beginning, so. Alright, so we'll make it 23 by 23. And we'll make the large jail door up here. And we'll have our metal detectors, as always. And we'll have to hook up our electrical cabling to that. Almost hooked up the wrong thing, but there we go. And we'll also bring this down because 
we might need this as well, our, our cordage. So, there we go. Um, and I'll also go ahead and plan out the rooms while I'm at it. Just so I know I've got everything planned right. Um, what is this? I think I built it out of brick. Hopefully I built it out of brick, because that's what I'm going to use the walls out of. Um, oh, wait. That's right, I can't place down walls. So, we have to go into planning. Correct Mundo. Okay. So. That'll be the entrance. That'll come down like that. Alrighty. And then we'll have rooms like this, or maybe a little bit bigger. So that way we can include things like bookcases. Since they added those in, um, they'll make your prisoners a lot more happy if you actually have those extra items in the cells. So I'll make the rooms pretty big. And it looks like we need to make this a tad bit bigger. That's all right, though. We can definitely do that. All righty. So we need to extend this by one. Bada boom. Oh, concrete. I thought that just said concrete floor. Construct concrete floor. I'm now see now I'm confused as to. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't want to do that. Oh boy! <laughs> I think I placed it down as brick. I can't remember. Oh Jesus! Um. Oh, I'll, I'll just leave that last section off until we actually get the foundation built, and then I'll fix it from there. <laughs> Jeez, um, I don't know how I forgot that. Alrighty, so I've went ahead and set up the high security jail cell area. And of course we are finding this. And because we're finding this, someone actually pointed out to me that in order to actually visualize these tunnels and get them removed, you have to find the source of the tunnel. So we're going to go ahead and do a shakedown. We're going to wait until everyone eats. Then we'll do a shakedown. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it a lockdown. We're just gonna do a, a regular old shakedown, and we'll search all the cells. Hopefully, we'll actually find where that tunnel, um, you know, started from, where it was actually being built from. But we'll wait until our prisoners are done eating, so that way everyone's happy, and they don't riot and whatnot. Because shakedowns are bound to piss off your prisoners. Okay, shakedown now. Alright, found some shears. We're gonna find a shit ton of stuff here. Um, did we find it? Yes, we did. Okay, we found the source of it. And that's probably why we've been losing a lot of prisoners. Um, although I don't remember seeing any notifications popping up saying that prisoners had escaped. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get those tunnels removed. Because that's a big-ass nuisance to our prison. And those actually look like quite long tunnels. It looks like they go all the way over here. Boom, out. Which is a pretty massive tunnel. Alright, well, all the cells are going to get searched. A lot of prisoners are being unnecessarily searched, but... We have to do it. Have to do it. No one's going to search this guy? Oh, okay, there they go. Searching him now. Only a few more places for our officers to go ahead and search, but we found a ton of contraband, a bunch of booze, some cigs, some luxury items, a bunch of weapons, a bunch of tools. Oh no, what happened? Someone just got tased. I don't know where at, but someone just got tased. Um, yeah, the dog's going crazy with the, the tunnel over there. Alright, so it looks like we actually removed that, but... Huh. Alright. 
All right, they removed the tunnels there. Maybe there's a separate... Maybe this is a separate tunnel from the ones that were dug out here. I don't really know. Well, anyways, that was the shakedown. Pretty successful. We cracked down, got a bunch of contraband. Our prisoners are going to be a little bit angry in the morning, but that should get taken care of. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. Let's take care of that. So we'll go ahead and have our, our guys take care of that. But anyways, ooh, another one? What did we find? Okay, that's just from the dog. Yeah, he's going nuts over there. Anyways, um, so yeah, that was our shakedown, and I'll come back in the morning. All right, so here we are back in the morning. We're coming back to people getting tased in the showers because once again, last night we tossed up all their cells. So obviously, quite a few of our prisoners are pissed off. But once they take their showers and get their grub, they shouldn't be too angry. Oh yeah, they're way pissed off. Yeah, once they get their, their showers and their grub, they should be fine, though. They usually always are. Um, yeah, well, we're still working on removing that one tunnel in there. So hopefully that's the one that's running through here. Oops, someone's getting tased. Yeah, we're taking out the angry-ass prisoners. Now everyone's going to go eat, so hopefully they should be all happy once they finish eating. What are we finding? Anything on those guys? Nope. Yeah. So they're all going to eat now. And we got our four prisoner intake. We got it already, actually. I guess I missed it. Oh, no. There they are. Okay, so they're going to get processed into the prison here. And I can go ahead and turn off my intake. So I guess that's where I was losing prisoners. Or maybe I released a few or transferred a few. Aside from those tunnels, I'm not really sure. But yeah, anyways, ooh, nice, we found tools, a shank. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so there's that. Our workers are still working on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and hire two more guards. Just to help out with everything. Although, I really probably don't even need those guys. We have a bunch of officers. Yep. Well, our engineers are busy. All of our staff are busy right now, so not a lot happening. Just the regular routine, as it were. There's guys working out. Everyone's either working right now or just doing whatever. Got a few guys working out. Weight lifting. Found some pills on somebody, it looks like. More pills. More pills. Jeez, our doctors, man. Our doctors are just handing out pills left and right. Or maybe they're stealing from the infirmaries. Uh, maybe I should actually deploy a guard to each one of the... Um, each one of the infirmaries. And I think we only have one. Alright. Um, also, I would like to establish this area. Oh, we can only shared? How does, how does shared work? Oh, okay. It's between everyone. All right. All right, so this is max security only. All right. Yeah, because there's prisoners freaking wandering over here and using this yard. <laughs> they, they shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll leave that on max settings for now. Max security settings only. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and deploy one guard in, in there for now. Um, ooh, two more guys? What, did they escape? No, it doesn't look like they escaped. Alright, well, we can take in a few more prisoners 
two more to be exact. So we'll go ahead and take in two more. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be taking in a few prisoners each day as prisoners get transferred and whatnot. So there goes that tunnel. I'm not sure if, if that was the one that was here, though. I'm not getting any notifications from the dog yet. Although the dog might be in the kennels resting up. Yeah, I think he is. All right, and I think I think for high security or max security, I think this is going to be its own wing. So I'll build another infirmary in here. It's going to be a fairly small infirmary. Um, we'll build their own rec room, um, their own visitation. It, it's going to be completely blocked off and completely segregated from the rest of the prison. So essentially, it's going to be a prison within a prison, um, and we'll hire another workman here just to go ahead and help with the workload here because it is taking them quite a long time to get this set up abnormally long but yeah no oh. yeah they're gonna they're gonna search the food make sure the chefs aren't bringing any contraband into our prison and we've got nearly two days for our long-term investment funds to come back to our pockets we should be getting 16k from that so 11k profit i believe and then we can take another grant and make more money of course yeah it looks like we did not actually find the tunnel that was leading through this main area here so i don't know what i'm gonna do there um I don't, I don't really know how I can find it, to be quite honest. I mean, just hope a guard stumbles upon it. Because, I mean, either prisoners are being released or they're escaping. Possibly just released. I'm hoping they're just being released. And there's not actually another um, hole in, our, in one of the cells. I don't know if you guys if you guys know how I can possibly find out where this tunnel is, where it's starting off, so that way I can remove it. Be sure to write write me a comment of where to search, what to do to actually find it out, because I'm not doing something right. I haven't found it yet. So yeah, if you if you have any suggestions of how to find that, write me out a comment. Alrighty, so I've done a little bit of work with the max security area. The foundations weren't being built correctly here, so I just went ahead and replaced everything um, with brick foundations, and that's what our workers are doing right now. And also, I've got my solitary cells hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up brick walls, closing off excess areas in our prison. So there's that, and also over here we're going to have our hospital, that's going to be our infirmary for the section, and this is going to be our common room, and also I think down here in this bottom right corner I'm going to make visitation, so uh, um, this bottom area, probably going to be visitation, 17 by 15, that, that sounds good to me, bada boom. We'll get that down there, and brick wall, close that bad boy off, and we'll go ahead and stick on a regular door. Um, we gotta find the middle of that first, though. Okay, right there. Alrighty. So that'll be our, um visitation area we still have a bunch of room left and i might actually make this yeah i might actually let's hold on hold on here let's remove those two walls and i'll have the stone the stone pathway continuing up i don't know exactly what i'm going to do up here maybe another um cell block possibly and then maybe a security area over here. 
And then, of course, we've got all this bottom space. I'll figure something out. Oh, I will definitely figure something out. Actually, probably they'll, they'll have their own chapel down here. So I'll have to do that. And also a classroom as well. Because I want to make this thing completely separate um, from everything else. And possibly an execution area. A small execution area. Let's actually set up a small execution area right now. Um, we'll set it up right here. Actually, how, how big does the room need to be? Oh, it doesn't need to be any any particular size. Okay, so we'll go ahead and make the um, execution room right there. And we'll go ahead and put on a large jail door, or just a regular jail door. And that'll be our execution room. Just for everyone, in general. Um, yeah. So I won't just have it in the max security area. Because... Minimum security and medium security guys might be able, or might need to be executed. Um, although I'm sure only death row guys can actually be executed. And I think in order to have death row uh, people be initiated into my prison, I, I need the execution chamber set up. But anyways, yeah, got all this area set up. Our engineers, or our workmen rather, are going to build that. They're already working on our cell block over here. And then we can get our, our, our rooms built up. And that actually cost me quite a bit of money. So we're going to have to fly through days here and accumulate a bit of money. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to comment. And please, please, please subscribe. It really helps out and it really does mean a lot. So once again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!